Did you know her? Of course. Mm -hmm. I was going to be her and butter ass if they play with me. They remember. Yeah. I used to hang with these folks. I got pictures with these folks. Like, yeah. Not to make it seem like, you know, get so much into it, but the internet tells stories of her being this super, super savage, you know? She's still a girl. Yeah, she was still a girl. Yeah, for sure. But yeah. as her being super... Kay, I wasn't even that... She just... Uh... I'm going to put this with her. Okay, I was just tough to people that she ain't know or right. that didn't know her. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, if you come around her, you see her off pills, got a gun in her hand. Who ain't going to be scared? I don't know what you're going to do off these drugs. Right. But, I ain't, no, don't put fear in nobody hard for real. No. Was you shocked when you seen reports that hit the internet that surfaced? Even the Sun-Times, the Chicago Sun-Times reported their rapper from Chicago, FBG Butter, testified that <laughs> O.D. Perry was behind, like, you know, some of the deaths in that community. Was you shocked about that? Were you shocked when you testified? I can honestly say I was it? shocked because me being around Butter, like, I didn't, I didn't hung with him. I didn't been to his mama crib, all type of shit growing up, like. I wouldn't have got that out of him like you getting on the stand testifying. Like, what's that going to do? Then you had, I seen the video when he said, how I'm a snitch on a dead nigga. I never sent a, a live nigga to jail. I never mentioned a story where somebody died with a live person alive. So that's me, gang. I talk all my shit about the dead because they fucking did. It ain't, even a, it ain't even a point about snitching. It's the point as if, like, you know what type of caliber of person you are. So why would you sit right here knowing you, you still got a face card out here no matter what. And you got on here and you snitched on some folks or insinuated that they did some shit that you weren't even there to see if they did. You know what I'm saying? So how could you say that? Right. Yeah, it's crazy in the culture now, you know. You know, you a mother, ain't you, right? Yeah, yeah, my baby's ten. Right. My baby father been dead since I was seven months pregnant. Hard raising them by yourself. Exactly. Mm. So for me to hear all this commotion going on the internet, oh she did this. She... Of course y'all gonna say that. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. Cause y'all can't see the bitch who was actually on the scene. You know what I'm saying? Cause she can disappear. So. Right. You know how is it though being a mother in a drill culture? You know people don't see that. They just think it's all hanging out. You know shooting, killing. Yeah. You know. These people got jobs and shit got to work. And do I work regular nine shit. to five. I'm, right. I work a nine to five, five days out the week. And on top of that, I'm doing hair. Like, I got to really, like, put my finesse on, you know? Because right. I got to make sure I be both mother and father. Rather, it's just buying clothes and shoes or teaching them playing basketball, doing this, going to the sports events or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, right. I got to be all that in one. And that's hard. Waking up 6 o'clock in the morning, got to make sure he get to school, be there when he get out of school, got to go to work, come mm. back, do it all over again. Like, it's hard. So that's why I moved out of Chicago, because if I was still in Chicago, I'd be fucked up. Had to be fucked up. You think that saved you? Yeah, mm. a lot. A lot of people say that leaving and shit, and force you to grow one up. One thing I can say, though, like, everybody give me my flowers. They, I'm proud of you. Don't come back. <laughs> don't come back. They give me my flowers from the ops to the, to my homies. Right. Damn, you been gone that long. You been gone three years. Yeah, it's almost been four. Right. And I ain't coming back. If I go, I'm going Tennessee, Houston, somewhere. I'm not coming back to the rack. Mm. Last so. thing I want to ask you though, you got a young lady right that's 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 growing up in this city. When should she start focusing on trying to get the hell on and shit like you said? When should she focus on? Time to get us shit together, lead us three shit along. Mm. A lot of people ask me that, you know, and I got you in the shit. I asked the guys this, so I want to ask you that, you know. When you feel like it's getting too hot. Mm. When you feel like it's getting too hot for you, move around. Right. I don't care if you're going to the suburbs. I don't care if you're going to Flossmore. I don't care if you're going to Richland Park, wherever. Get away. Right. Whenever you feel like it's getting too hot, too hard, whatever. 
See, I went I went to Atlanta with with a hope and a dream. Right. I had twenty five hundred dollars in a car. Oh. And a trunk full with clothes and shoes. You didn't have a house already? No, I didn't have shit. Oh. I went out there on a hope and a dream. Right. And I had a three story house. I had a whole single family home. I didn't had apartments. I done ran through three cars since I've been down there. <laughs> right. Like, my life lit. Right. In a good way, though. I ain't got to worry about nobody shooting me. I ain't got to worry about no females disliking me. Right. I ain't got to worry about fighting. I probably done had two, three fights since I've been out there. Right. That type right. of shit clean your spirit, you know? And then you just feel like if it disturbs your peace, leave it alone. Let it go. I don't know nobody out there, so it's easy for me to say, fuck y'all. I don't care. Right. I get you on that. Uh, any new projects coming out? When we getting some more music from you? Y'all have some music. This what this? So basically, I've been writing my music. Okay. Uh, my latest song that I just did uh, was from the freestyle that Ike Money just did that uh, "Miss You." Okay. But I got it uh, about my baby daddy. So I'll be dropping music sometime by the end of January. So mm -hmm. I'll probably got like three, four songs out, and uh -huh. probably one video, another video. Because okay. I got to bring a video out. So you is thinking about bringing a video out? Yes. Okay, and you got that Miss You out. Where, where, where is the Miss You at? You know the YouTube channel? Oh, no, uh-uh. Okay. I got it in my notes. Okay, so we're going to get that soon, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what about a podcast? I ain't going to lie. It seems like you got a lot of dope stories and shit. Um, like so you never thought about that? My homie in Atlanta, his name Few. Okay. He um he actually does podcasts. He got the equipment. He got everything to do it. Okay. We just need to start it. Right. That's all. So we have been thinking about that for the last about six months. We've been talking about it. Yeah. And this shit is kind of hard. It's not easy. People make it look easy. It's not easy. <laughs> right. But you know you got to It's easy to get on there and talk on talk and answer questions and stuff like that. But right. The moderate money. that shit be it's different. Money. Yeah. Right. You got to put your money and your time in it. No, I and I had less that. time to do anything for real. Let me get all your social media. Where can the people find you at? Somebody want to book you for an interview or anything like that? Okay. Where they gonna find you? Y'all can find me on Instagram at underscore Rico R E K O Little Sister L I L S I S T E R. You can find me on Facebook at Lisa Nelson. You can find me on Snapchat at J Money Wife Twenty One. I didn't have that Snapchat since I was twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you can um find me on Twitter at Love Folks Nim with three M's. Okay. Yep. What about YouTube? You got your own YouTube channel? Oh, King David Granddaughter. Okay. Yeah. People hit you up too because I heard you. I like... got over a thousand subscribers on there. Oh yeah. Yeah. I heard you like a celebrity when it comes to the lock shit. When it comes to the hell shit, people oh, get yeah. up with you on there. Everybody. Okay. Like I'm 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 in a I'm in a uh, industry now. Like I right. can, I can go do anybody here. I see some of the flash rappers getting their shit done back here. So y'all need your shit done. Y'all hit up Mona Lisa ASAP. The Instagram, what again? Uh, Rico Little Sister. Okay. Mona. Underscore Rico Little Sister. Give an upcoming artist some advice in this shit. You know all the famous rappers, all the people talk about. And I think you're a famous rapper too, in my opinion. You know? <laughs> uh, uh, just keep going. Stay dedicated. Stay down. Don't give up. Don't stop. And I mean, just be you. Don't go around these industry people trying to be them. You know oh, what I'm saying? Right. Be you. Because that's how they're going to accept you, as you being you. Um, and, you know, say that bread. Say that bread because it's going to cost money. It's, it's going to, you got to make, you got to spend money to make money. Right. So, I mean, you might just jump in the game and, oh, damn, I might have spent 10000 and ain't nobody signed me yet. <laughs> no, you got to spend 10000 more. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah. You got a New Year's resolution? Um, my New Year's resolution is to be better than I was before my life set. I'm straight. Uh, most definitely. I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you, legend. All right, I appreciate y'all. Uh, it's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> uh, appreciate that, legend.